Richard Hunt is a myriad of things. He is a brilliant sculptor. He is a scholar, a thinker. He is a Chicagoan above all else. But I would say he's probably one of the most innovative artists of the 20th century. When Richard went to school at the School of the Art Institute in Chicago, he knew that he wanted to work with a new and innovative sculptural form. Metal was not only an unconventional material for sculpture, but to weld metal was unconventional. And the Art Institute didn't have a studio for doing that, so he had to do that in his parents' basement. It was a little dangerous, but everyone survived, and he was showing in New York before he even graduated from school. Coming to the studio, I had the opportunity to see the pile of stuff that one would, you know, go down alleys and pick out pieces of metal and things like that. Metal from junkyards, scrap yards, places where metal essentially was garbage. And I'd ask him, well, what, what is all that? Richard would say, there's something there that I see what it could be. It's beautiful, it's graceful. How can you do that with metal? Forms that remind you of birds, of flames, of things that literally move upwards in a way that kind of reminds us to maybe elevate our thinking. The most common thing that happens when someone looks at it is they look up. They engage with the world around them and the world above them. And in the best case scenario, that's what art does. Richard Hunt is the most commissioned sculptor in the United States. Richard Hunt has about 125 works of public art across 33 states. And so many pieces that are around Chicago, he's so prolific. And recently he was commissioned to do the main piece in the lobby of the Smithsonian African American Museum. Here is someone now going into his seventh decade of making art, which is incredible for any career, let alone one that takes such muscle. He's also a wonderful human being. He really cares about people. He's very social. He's on the Board of Regents of Loyola University, so he's very committed to his community. He's also a model for many young artists, especially African-American artists, who now have this example of someone who's quote-unquote made it as a practicing artist. He is a legend. His works are landmarks, and he is going to continue to make a difference in the world. Richard, thank you for your generosity in your art but thank you for your generosity to people. Richard, Ed and I and our family adore you. We thank you for your friendship and your love, and we thank you for your wonderful art and humanity.